Welcome to our class, yes, and welcome to VNO Tech. In this channel, this is where we learn writing skills. So, just before we begin, please, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and feel welcome. This is like a, a second home of all writers. For those who are always, always there with us, please maintain it and thank you all. And for today, we are going to discuss some of the academic writing styles which uh, majorly there are uh, three main MLA, APH and Chicago there are so many ri writing styles but uh, we are just going to check on the three because they are the most common ones that are used to format your research papers so guys just allow me to start right away we are going to look at uh, three major styles in academic writing so number one, we have got we have modern language association, the MLA. We have got uh, American Psychological Association, APA, and we are going to check on the seventh edition, that is the uh, very latest. Then we'll summarize by looking at Chicago. So just to go into modern language association, so the first thing that you must know when you're writing your paper into an an MLA format when you're formatting your research paper the first thing that you must know is that you make sure your fonts are clearly and visible by using times new roman with the 12 pt so make sure your computer is set and on that we'll have uh, our next video where we'll be showing practicals on how to do that on a, a document okay so don't miss it stay tuned and uh, learn more number two we're going to look at it must use application of capitalization for headings the upper and the lower casing so hope all of you are uh, well conversant with the upper and lower casing and if not you are missing a lot please do check on our videos we have got a video that is explaining on that then we have uh, when you are formatting your document or your, your research paper to MLA, it must have an indent in every new paragraph for a half an inch. So you must indent your new paragraphs to half an inch. Then page margins must be set to one inch. Double spacing your lines. You, double, you must double space your lines. Then center your subheadings. Okay, You have to center your subheadings in the body part. Then a page header in MLA, we have got a page header that appears at the top of each page with the page numbers and the, and the surname of the of the author. Okay, yes, of course the author here is uh, the person that uh, is assigned. If you are a student, it is it is you. If it, if you are a uh, someone who is employed to write, then you don't write your name. The student will indicate his name. So I just want us to look at an. Uh, the first page in MLA, Modern Language Association. What do we include in the first page? So, in the first page of MLA paper is always the, the heading that contains the owner's cred credentials. So, the first page must contain your, your details. That is, they are aligned to the left side of your page paper. You can see here, on the left side of your paper. Don't make them at the center, not at the right, but on the left side. That is in MLA. The first page is your details here. Okay. Remember the, the page number and the, the surname. Then, uh, just quickly on that, let me now check on, still on, uh, on the, on the, on the writing styles. Number two, we have got, uh, American Psychological Association called the APA and we are looking at the seventh edition. So in APA, they have updated that uh, the APA have the following guidelines to follow. You must follow these guidelines. Of course, they, they are, some are the same with the MLA, but there is a slight difference. Yeah, so number one thing in APA, 
standard font of Times New Roman or Arial with 12 bit. So in APA, you can use either Times New Roman or Arial. Okay, but unlike in MLA, we're only using Times New Roman. Then contains a running header on every page when you are submitting for publication. So APA has a running header, but when you are submitting for an application. For students, it doesn't apply unless stated otherwise. Okay. Yes. And all paragraphs have, are indented to a half an inch. Then double, double space your, your lines all through. Then the page margin have to be set to one inch. Okay. Don't worry. Today we are just looking at uh, the theory part. We, the, our next video, which will be dropping soon, will be showing a practical example on how to actually indent, on how to actually turn your copy into uh, Times New Roman 12 PD, the right format. So we'll be looking at practical how to format our document. Then on, let's look at the APA on the first page of an APA. Now the, the first page will appear like this. APA format is adding to up to five steps, which are centered, title cased, and bold. So I just want you to be keen here. Just want you to be keen on here. So you see how our APA, we, we write the, the credentials here. You start with the title, a space, okay, then your name, and watch out how the names are written, okay, they're written in, 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 in initial, initials are written in upper cases, okay, just like the heading, they follow the same format as the heading, then they have affiliation, that is the department, should be it italized, okay, written in italics, you can see that, then the course name, then we have got the lecturer's instructor's name, then the due date. So that one is in APA. So you can see the difference. In MLA, we were doing a different thing, unlike in APA. So then, I want us to check on the reference page on APA. So shortly, just to check on that, must be in, must be in a, a separate page, insert a double spacing, spaced lines, okay? A reference in APA, they will be the, the, the separate page of referencing and inserting double spacing and follows the alphabetical order. We will discuss all this. Please, please, please don't miss our next video on that. And remember also to check on, uh, on introduction to academic writing. The link is in the description below. You will find it and go through it where we introduce. This is part two. But part one, we introduced academic writing. Some important points are there to note. Please do rush there and check. And uh, just on that, that is on reference. Then, the, the last one, we are looking at uh, Chicago style. Though not very commonly used, but uh, very important. Okay? Yes. So in Chicago, there's a very big difference from uh, how we write things here. So in Chicago, we have got, uh, first thing is the page numbers are used at the top right or bottom center. So in Chicago, you are allowed to make your page numbers at the top right. Here is your top right or bottom center, or you can write it here, bottom center, okay? Then standard fonts of 12 PT times New Roman, as, as that one applies to all the styles. Margins can be one inch or longer, also similar. Indent every new paragraph to half an inch. Apply double spacing. Title page is not needed in Chicago. Important to note, it's not needed unless stated otherwise, okay? Yes, and uh, Chicago it is, uh, is our third one that we were looking about. So referencing in Chicago, we have got author and date citations with a reference list or a footnote. Citations with a bibliography, okay? All these we'll be discussing in our channel. Citations and reference list, how to do with them, okay? Just make sure that you subscribe, please, and uh, hit that notification bell so that anytime I, I, I update you, 
on a, a video, you will be the first person to to get it, okay? And you'll be very happy at learning. All I need is just subscribe and comment and feel free to share our videos. Let others also gain the knowledge. So it is advisable to choose only a style and the referencing appears at the end of the paper, okay? So we'll discuss that. That is uh, concerning on Chicago. And guys, I just want to say that uh, that was it. And thank you all guys for attending this. Please, please, please remember to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in our next video.